great pressure from Galvis. You go high up, he's pushing. And here's Gareth Bales. The flag stays down. It's Bale off to the races. Bale Set. buries the opener. It's Real Madrid in front. 26 minutes played. Las Palmas nil. Madrid won. It's Gareth Bale with his 10th goal of the season. It's a stunning finish, but look back at the positioning of Galvez. The center back was all the way in Real Madrid's half, trying to press high up. That led the back line to be in all sorts of disarray. So few numbers back. You have one of your center backs in line with the attacking midfielder. That's Galvez right there. Look how high he's pushed up. That creates a massive hole for Real Madrid to exploit. Questions about an offside as well. Seems like uh, Bale might have been that last step off the last two center backs, but my goodness, that is quite some unbalance. How high up Galvez pushed, and just like that, Bale can make you pay. No quicker man on the pitch. And what a rifle. So the ball was initially brought forward by the left back, Aguirre Garay. And you had Galvez pressing high up the pitch. And that left just Shimo and Michel. Looking for Casemiro, Shimon Navarro dealt with it. Brought down by Lucas Vasquez, brought down in the box, Lucas. And he has given it as a penalty for Real Madrid. Lucas Vasquez goes to ground, a flank by two Las Palmas defenders. And Gonzalez Fuertes had a thought about it. And after thinking, points to the spot. No, had quite a thought. Lucas is holding onto his ankle. Seems like that's where he got clipped. If it was indeed a penalty, such a silly one to give away as he's holding off two players. It was a little bit of contact from behind by Caleri. Here's another look at it. Watch the number nine, Caleri, coming in. Just seems to catch Lucas. It's not clear cut, though. Here's a better look at it. Was there enough? Yeah, there was the contact. There was contact just enough. A bit of a clumsy challenge there. A real strike. Captain's armband. Here comes Karim Benzema against Tichi Zola. Benzema buries it in the back of the net. It's 2-0 to Real Madrid. No chance for Chichi Zola as Benzema gets his fifth of the campaign. Make that goal 189 in 400 matches. Chichi Zola guessed correctly, but it's angled far too perfectly from Benzema. Bottom corner, pace and power. The placement is perfect. And Caleri, silly foul. As Lucas Vasquez was nowhere near in a dangerous position to shoot on goal just at the edge of the box a ridiculous penalty to give away And if it was an uphill climb now, it's like scaling Mount Everest for Las Palmas First goal for Karim Benzema since uh, he scored back in late February against Alaves in that 4-0 win That was also in Paco made a tactical substitution You know here's Benzema drags it across and Gareth Bale skies his effort, Isn't that but he's given away another penalty. Oh. Tripped up just inside of the area. Shimon Navarro goes in the book and gives away a pen. And this time, Benzema <laughs> does give the ball to Gareth Bale. He drew it. Oh, no real complaints either. It's Benzema that sets him up. The ball's already shot, but on the follow-through, that foot, it just catches Bale right on the ankle. Snaps that leg back. Not able to follow through on his effort. That's good teamwork there from the two. And Benzema gives it the big bail. So Bill in the 26th made it 1-0. Benzema in the 39th made it 2. And here is the Welshman once more. Against Leandro Chichizola. Bale for 3. And he drills it. It's all Real Madrid in the Canary Islands. Las Palmas nil, Real Madrid three, as Bale bags his second. Excellent run up as well from Bale. That little stutter step at the end just seemed to get Chichizola cheating to one side. Bale took a look up and just sent it the other way. Man, it looked far too easy. And then poor Chichizola who has to go up now against the two-time, well, two-in-a-row time European champions. Played at Serie B last season. Quite a step up for him. Look right here, the little hesitation right before. That's the stutter step. He gets Chichizola to cheat in one direction. Makes it look far too easy. Staring at the goalkeeper the entire time on the run-up. Never once looks down at the ball. 
That's what he wants to see. The goalkeeper starting to move in one direction and there it goes the other way. It's one of the curious things about penalties. It's to 